I'm Ford Pearson. I know I said last episode that I was going to be repairing a Ford Pinto this episode, but unfortunately, the only one we had access to exploded. So instead, we're going to talk about Windows 8 accounts and personalization. The first thing that you see when you turn on a Windows 8 PC is the lock screen, which enables you to log in to Windows 8. Press any key to slide away the lock screen, then enter your password to access Windows. To customize the lock screen as well as other features, go to the Charms bar and select the Settings charm. Next, click on Change PC Settings. This opens a list of several settings you can change. You can choose a lock screen picture by selecting a picture on the bottom or using the Browse button to look for one of your own images. You can change the design and colors of the start screen using the Start Screen tab. Windows includes several color combinations and background patterns to choose from, but importantly, you can't use a custom picture. You can also change your account picture the same way, either using one of the recently used images shown below, or by clicking Browse and looking for a new picture. While we're looking at the PC settings screen, let's look at user accounts. Windows 8 has divided user accounts into two new categories, local accounts and Microsoft accounts. A local account is just what it sounds like an account that exists solely on the PC that you're currently using. With a Microsoft account, however, you can log into any Windows 8 PC and sync your settings and apps. The Users tab also enables you to change your password, set up a picture password, or use a pin to unlock your computer. The picture password lets you draw shapes on one of your pictures to unlock the computer, and the pin option replaces your password with a four-number code, but neither sound very secure to us. The Notifications screen lets you customize which apps can notify you of any updates, similar to the notifications you'll find on a smartphone or tablet. You can further customize the notifications by turning on and off sound as well as showing notifications on the lock screen. In a previous episode, we covered the Share Charm, which lets you share things from inside a Windows 8 app, such as a news article. The Share screen in PC settings lets you pick which services you can use to share. Common examples include Mail, Facebook, and Twitter. The Privacy screen lets you control three important settings. First, you can turn on or off Windows 8's ability to use your location within an app. Second, you can choose whether or not an app can use your username and picture. Finally, you can send information to the Windows 8 App Store about the websites accessed by your apps. The Sync Your Settings screen lets you pick which settings are synced between your PCs. For instance, you can choose to sync your desktop background but not your lock screen. Remember that you can only sync computers that you log on to using your Microsoft account. So that's Windows 8 personalization. Because YouTube has told us that statistically none of you are watching anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and start spoiling some movies. Darth Vader was Luke's father the whole time. Rosebud is a sled. Snape kills Dumbledore. Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. Bruce Willis drops Hans Gruber off Nakatomi Plaza. Bruce Willis and Lilu fall in love at the end of Fifth Element. Bruce Willis kills himself at the end of Sin City. Joseph Gordon-Levitt kills himself so that he never becomes Bruce Willis. <laughs>